Coming up next on The Beat, the latest Citizens Police Academy is in session. Find out more about it. Next, we learn more about the Criminal Investigations Division. Finally, an MPD summer camp aimed at protecting your kids is coming soon. Hi, and welcome to The Beat. I'm your host, Sergeant Kyle Evans. Two times a year, the Murfreesboro Police Department offers the Citizens Police Academy, an opportunity for you to find out more about what we do. Students get a hands-on experience when taking part in the CPA. Officer Amy Norville explains more about the program. The Citizens Police Academy is a 12-week program where citizens in our community can come in and find out about the inner workings of the Murfreesboro Police Department. A lot of it occurs in a classroom, in a controlled setting. We bring in officers with different specialties um, to explain and to exhibit the things that they do in their daily work. Um, everything from a domestic violence detective to a special operations unit member with their specialized gear. Um, we have criminal investigators come in um, with their fingerprint dust and um, things like that to show people how fingerprints can be um, retrieved from a crime scene and how they're processed and explain actually kind of how they're read also. They also get to do mock traffic stops. Um, usually we do those in the garage because it's climate controlled, um, but they get to be the police officers uh, doing a traffic stop. They also have the opportunity to go on a ride along with an officer. So they get to sit in the front seat of a patrol car for um, eight hours and see what happens and see the unpredictability of a police officer's day at the office. One of our current students actually stopped me after class this week and had done his ride along and the week prior. Um, and all he could say was that every citizen in Murfreesboro should do this. To participate in the Citizens Police Academy, all you have to do is contact me through email or by phone. Um, or pick up an application in the City Hall lobby, the Police Department lobby, um, or in the Police Records Office lobby. Uh, you just fill out the application, send it back in. As long as you're over 18 and have a clean criminal background, um, then I'll be in touch with you and we'll get you in the next class. There is a $50 fee. The fee is due the first night of class. So um, if you think you want to be part of the fall class, Go ahead and get your application in, but the money is not due until class starts. The quicker you can sign up, the better. While large classes can be fun, they're hard to manage, so we probably try to limit the class to 20 to 25 people. So getting, it, getting your application in early is always best. There's, there's normally two classes a year. We'll have a session in the spring and a session in the fall. Murfreesboro Police Department prides itself on being a community-oriented police department. Um, what better way to be included in the community and have the community included in our department than to have our community members come in and go through um, a 12-week course, a class, um, an experience to learn about the police department. If you're a fan of the criminal investigative shows on TV, you'll definitely want to check out this next story. The Criminal Investigations Division of the Murfreesboro Police Department plays a vital role in how we solve crimes. Here's a behind the scenes look at what happens at the CID. This is the Criminal Investigations Division of the Murfreesboro Police Department. And part of that division, one of our units, is the Forensic Services Unit, uh, which handles processing of crime scenes um, and any type of evidence. This is where we're at right now. This is one of our labs um, that we use. This is the, uh, we refer to it as our clean lab uh, because we don't do any type of chemical processing in here or the use of any type of fingerprint powders. Um, in this room here, what we do is we uh, look at evidence, we photograph evidence, uh, we have a forensic light, um, also known as an alternative light source, uh, where we can look at evidence for uh, fibers for blood, um, different things that will fluoresce under different light waves. So that's kind of what we do in this room. This is our second lab where we process evidence. Uh, we refer to this as our dirty lab just because we do a lot of chemical processing here. We use a lot of powders and so um, it can get quite dirty. Uh, that's why we refer to it as the dirty lab. This big massive looking thing 
Um, it's nothing more than just a big fuming chamber. This is where we use our uh, super glue or cyanoacrylate uh, fuming. Uh, cyanoacrylate is basically just a fancy word for super glue. This device here, all this is, again, is just a fuming uh, exhaust hood, something similar to what you would have at home above your, uh, your cooktop surface. Um, it's the same thing, it has a fan built into it and a uh, filter in the top. Um, glass here raises up. So you can work on your evidence. Underneath here, we usually we'll use our chemical evidence, uh, chemicals in here to process it. This device, this piece of equipment here, um, it's similar to our fuming chamber. Um, the only difference is our fuming chamber has a heat source in the bottom where we put the uh, super glue, uh, the cyanoacrylate, to fume items. Uh, this is more like an oven where you have heat um, kind of surrounding in here. Next we have uh, what is called a downdraft uh, table, if you will. It um, basically is exactly what it says. It's a downflow workstation uh, used for processing evidence, mainly with different types of fingerprint powders. The fingerprint powders uh, become airborne. They can um, get quite dirty. Um, they're like this right here, come in these little containers. And um, what this table does, whenever you turn it on, is it actually draws air down through these small holes out the back and it filters it. So if you're working, the, those particles don't come up in the air, you're not breathing them in. Most people are surprised um, with what they see on TV versus um, what we actually do in the lab. I think they, although there's some similarities, the television portrays it as a really quick process uh, where results are almost instantaneous. And it's just not that way. It takes time uh, to, to work on a piece of evidence. It takes time to process evidence. I enjoy it because it's uh, you know, the scientific kind of aspect of it where you can take um, a, a piece of evidence that a, a criminal has touched or has left behind at the scene and with that piece of evidence you, you don't see anything on it. Uh, there's just nothing, uh, nothing there, but you can take that piece of evidence, bring it back to the lab and process it and develop a print off of that piece of evidence and then you can run that print through APHIS um, and get an identification on this person. And so to me, it still excites me when you can go through that process. The Murfreesboro Police Department would like to give a few shout outs. Officer Jason Higgins, along with detectives Tommy Massey and Abe Von Pock D were promoted to the rank of sergeant. Officer Haley Alden received the Remington Heroes Award as part of the Nashville Predators Law Enforcement Appreciation Game held in January. Alden is the first female assigned to the Special Operations Unit of the MPD. Detective Sergeant Katrina Henderson was presented the Award for Excellence in Law Enforcement by the United States Attorney General's Office. She, along with former detective Eric Hauser, were instrumental in obtaining a conviction in a case which started with a complaint of stolen checks at a local church here in Murfreesboro. The case was one of the largest fraud investigations in Middle Tennessee in recent history. The following officers received the FBI Lita Trilogy Award. Lieutenant Steve Gerald, Detective Sergeant Wayne Lawson, Sergeants Justin Lomansky, Melanie Roach, Keith Sanders, and myself. And a special mention to some of our detectives that worked on a joint investigation between the MPD, TBI Drug Investigation Division agents, and the DEA Task Force, which resulted in the seizure of five kilos of heroin earlier this year. Finally, MPD is holding Rad Kids classes this summer. Rad Kids is a program designed to teach kids physical defensive skills to help them fight back in the case of an attempted abduction, along with other safety lessons. All this is taught in a summer camp atmosphere, along with fun games and activities. If you would like for your child to participate, this year's classes will be held June 6th through 10th and June 20th through 24th at Sportscom, and July 18th through 22nd at Barfield Park. The cost of each class is $25 per student, and the child must be between the ages of 8 and 12 years old. Call 615-895-3874 for more information. 
There are many great things going on every day at the Murfreesboro Police Department. Officers, detectives, and dispatchers work tirelessly to make our community safe. If you have questions about any of the services the Murfreesboro Police Department offers, please call us at 615-895-3874. Remember to follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. One final note, we would like to welcome our new Chief of Police, Carl Durr. Durr serves as Assistant Chief for the Eugene Police Department in Oregon and is expected to begin his new role in April. Thanks for watching and join us next time as The Beat goes on. Oh